Yeah, it's officially the biggest midget in the game. I don't know. Hello dear viewers, today I am going to show you how to use Unity Remote in your cell phone so that you can uh, test your application before deploying or building the application from your Unity 3D engine. So let's get started. So first of all I have made these following steps, I will have to show you that these steps, if you just follow these steps it will be easy for you. Many of you have already um, have told me that, uh, or that uh, ask me that how can I uh, solve this uh, problem that many of you have faced many problems that it's not working perfectly so if it is the perfect solution if you just follow these steps it must work it any in any Android device that supports the unity remote uh, in your uh, mobile so let's just follow the steps so first of all you need to download the SDK here I have given the link the SDK of this uh, uh, is Android SDK in this link if you just go here and, and you will find the SDK and obviously the other link is for the Apple uh, iPhone iPhone SDK is here you just need to download this because you will later need to redirect your Unity engine to this uh, SDK link for running the Unity remote so this is the basic first thing and after that you need to install this Unity Remote application software in your cell phone. I have given the link. You just go to Play Store and uh, write it the name of the Unity Remote. You will get this uh, link Unity Remote. You just install in your uh, Android device and that should be easy. So just uh, move forward to the next step. It's easy. Uh, this part is really important. Here you go to your mobile settings. I'm going to show you my mobile settings. You go to your mobile settings and you have to make sure that your USB debugging mode is on. Sorry, what that? Yeah, in my phone there is an option called developer, uh, yeah, developer options. Here it is. And here you can see that USB debugging mode is on. So you make sure that the USB debugging mode should be turned on. The tick mark is here. So keeping it in that condition you go to step 3 so in uh, um, step 3 you have to uh, make sure that unity uh, application I mean the engine have the following configuration inside it so I have uh, the unity 3d engine I'm running the unity 3d engine is unity 4.6.1 uh, version uh, let's just before doing anything I have to open my project that I'm going to run in unity remote so Suppose I have uh, this project, I open it. Okay, this project is here. So go to the scenes uh, in the level one. Suppose this level one scene should be, uh, I should be testing inside my mobile phone before it's uh, built inside uh, from the UD3D or be before it's built for uh, in APK format. So what I have to do is. Uh, do this following steps first of all I have to go to the file then I have to change the build settings uh, you can see the uh, in my game I already uh, uh, made this called uh, a for Android engine I build this for Android engine in case of you you may have seen that your uh, game was built uh, is uh, uh, the build setting is set for uh, web play player or maybe like iOS or something else you have to choose the exact one if you are using I uh, testing the um, game in uh, um, iPhone or in the remote with the remote you have to choose iOS in case of Android you have to choose Android so I'm choosing Android and obviously you have to click this button switch the platform if you do not click that you will not work so much must sure that you must click this button okay in this kind of uh, after clicking this button I make sure you switch the platform to Android you go to next step that's going to be the edit in this edit option you have to make sure the preferences how should be the preference in the preference option the external tool option you can see the android sdk location you have to locate your android sdk while it is in your it's in your file i so told you that you can download it from this uh, link and after downloading this you have to uh, locate it from this unity 3d uh, project settings 
you go there in my case I have located this in my software SDK and uh, Android SDK window so uh, you may be you may be downloading this zip file and inside this zip file you file this folder in this folder uh, there are following folders also subfolders so you in this condition you have to select the select folder so that's it after that what you have to do is uh, go to the project settings and the editor in this editor you have to choose any android device in case of if you use the iphone then you'll have to use the uh, ios device but i'm testing it in my android device so i'm choosing the android device so let's keep it like that and uh, the step three is almost over okay after that uh, we have to close the md3 and you have to save the settings like that so i'm closing the md3d in this condition okay it's closed down so go to the uh, step four connect your mobile phone through your usb cable so i'm connecting my cell phone through usb cable okay uh, please forget my pattern code <laughs> anyway it's secret okay here uh, when i'm connecting the usb device uh, usb port of the mobile phone there is an option connect to mobile device i'm selecting the connect the mobile device okay here you can see that you should choose the media device mtp you should not choose the usb storage it, it you need to make sure that you uh, choose the media device otherwise it may cause some problem i actually i faced so that's why i'm telling you that so if you uh, connect the device like in media device then you can see that in your uh, my computer you will find that the mobile phone is connected as a media device that means your mobile is connected and in this way uh, it helps you to uh, 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 download the driver for your mobile phone for your windows so obviously make you need to make sure that uh, your drivers for your mobile phone is installed in, in your operating system otherwise your unit remote will not work properly so let's keep it like that after that we'll have to uh, uh, run the unity remote in your in your mobile phone so let's run the unity remote in our mobile phone uh, where is it yeah yeah it is yes I have run the unity remote in my mobile phone so in this uh, stream I have to run the unity 3d engine in my desktop again I'm running it again okay my unity program is running again in my de uh, desktop so what i have to do is just hit the play button and i'll start testing the game so sorry for the sound anyway so as you can see my oh, sorry i have to <laughs> remove the sound anyway as you can see the uh, game is right now running in my desktop I can also play the game in my cell phone uh, yes I'm jumping yes jumping jumping I have to move left oh I'm dying okay I'm dead okay sorry it was a, a lame game I made uh, from uh, for my test anyway so <laughs> this is the main way you can run your <coughs> game in your uh, mobile phone so you can test it if it is uh, working fine or not so in my case if I please this button yes and my game restarted again and also in my windows you can see the unity 3d is uh, moving the game in same way so there are some few problems you, or issues you may find the buffering is not good I mean sometimes you face that the buffering is slow uh, in the real-time game uh, in the mobile phone so it is not actually an issue because you, you are testing the game so it's uh, it's actually perfect I think it's perfect so Thank you for watching this tutorial. I know I'm really bad in English and really there are many problems. Uh, if you have uh, any, uh, any question, you can ask and obviously subscribe us if you feel that worthy and like us if you think that it's worthy. So take care. Have a great time. Thank you.